Hi you guys, this is JJ. Oh my god, 11-11 as I am recording this. Okay, so that is confirmation for me to record this particular message. This is going to be a collective message, so this is not a pick a card. Again, like always, these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Something doesn't fit, that is okay. There might be certain points in the reading that fit with you, that resonate with you. If the whole reading resonates with you, great, that is fantastic. But if it doesn't, uh, that means that the message was for someone else so let's see what comes through again the energy that i was picking up was this energy of big shifts are coming in and i feel like the group that i'm about to channel they're having trouble adjusting to the shifts or they're having trouble I don't know there's something about like stepping into their power or there's also a lot of confusion a lot of indecision going on a lot of waiting too is something that i am picking up like i'm this energy of i'm waiting for things to happen i'm waiting for things to manifest for me it's kind of what i'm picking up here we have intimacy okay this is too good to be true so for some of you maybe your manifestation already came in and you're just like oh my god you're waiting for the shoe to drop or something like this this is cinnamon we have true statement it can only get better allow yourself to experience more joy and love raise your resonance by swimming in the sweetness of life so for some of you, you might be going swimming that might be significant for someone or a sign for someone I feel for a lot of you, your connection with spirit too is like this sense of it's it's growing stronger. But I feel like once we start strengthening our bond with spirit and our guides, it requires more trust from us, right? And so for some of you, good things have come in. You know, you're getting that apartment, you're getting that job, you're getting that call, you're getting that, uh, you know, that text, whatever it is that you've been wanting. It's coming in or new opportunities. And I feel like there is this fear of it being too good to be true. It's kind of the energy that's coming through. Whoa, sorry. Acceptance. I cannot trust anyone. True statement. Everyone deserves my love. And then we have open my heart. I open my heart to heal and release. I open myself to the peace of divine love and grace. So for some of you, this could be new love coming into and you're having trouble opening yourself up to love. Maybe you're doubting. Maybe you're like, no, I'm not a lovable person or, you know, I've done my fair share. So I have made my fair shares of love uh, mistakes in regards to my love life. Like there's something about that as well here. Yeah, there's like big shifts coming in. It's going to be different for every single one of you. We have wisdom. It doesn't make sense. True statement. I see the bigger picture. And then we have, if you are, you are moving towards a deeper level of understanding from knowledge to wisdom, take time to absorb the lessons. Yeah. Like I said, I feel like there is this big shift that's coming in and many of us are having trouble adjusting to it. Okay. A lot of things are, are coming in. A lot of truths are coming in. A lot of clarity is coming in as well. It's something that I am picking up. And then we have processing. Didn't I just say that? We're having trouble processing these shifts, whether they be good or bad, but you know, because of certain behaviors, thought patterns, or because of past events, we're having trouble digesting these changes. And so, you know, you are, or you probably are in this nine of swords, or you're worried, or you're anxious. Uh, you probably don't know how to handle certain things. You don't know if you should move forward with something. And your guides are saying, look, a solution will be coming in for you very, very soon. The card says slowing down and listening to your inner voice will provide you with direction and purpose. So again, this energy of allowing things to fall into place, okay? So if you're listening to this video and you're like, yeah, JJ, I don't know what's going on. I feel overwhelmed. You know, it doesn't have to be bad things happening. This, is, this feels like positive changes. It doesn't feel like negative changes at all. We have ready to love again. Yes, I feel like you guys are ready to open your heart again, whether this be to a person or just doing things that you love. And I feel like that might be scary. We have smoky quartz, clearing negativity, release negativity from within and around you. Excuse me. Yeah, as I kind of wanted to burp and I didn't. I feel like for some of you, is this energy of... 
you're having trouble releasing and this trigger needed to happen, okay, this triggering moment or this questioning needed to happen in order for you to let go of exactly what that negativity is, what that thought pattern, that, you know, little hiccup there. Unikite, answered prayers, you guys, okay, if you're doubting whether your prayers will be answered, your guides are coming in today at 11 11 to let you know that your prayers are being answered they will be answered i feel like the fact that it's taking a while or that they are coming in in a very different way than what you thought doesn't mean that they're bad okay it means that you know there is a better way all your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support again solutions there is solutions coming in for you. If you're coming across this video, then, you know, there are solutions coming in, whatever it is that you're stressing about. And then we have fluorite, natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. And for some of you, if this is a person, then, you know, this could be something about a romantic, intimate connection, okay, that you're kind of like, well, who's going to love me? I am this way. You guys are saying, no, you're a beautiful person. We created you, right? Uh, another thing here is for others of you, it could be putting yourself out there in a project or something like this. And your guides are saying, look, put yourself out there. People are going to resonate or, you know, connect with you. Don't doubt yourself. Because I feel like with fluoride, fluoride being here, I feel like there is a lot of like a little bit of mental chaos. A lot, a little communication so if you're waiting for that communication to come in that will happen okay there will be a call back there will be if someone has had you blocked again this person will unblock you uh there is some type of communication i feel like also your guides are trying to reach you <laughs> to let you know like hey stay committed to what you what you want to what you've asked for even if things don't look the best right now glow up yeah self-improvement like i said this feels like an awakening for many of you for many of you there is a glow up coming up for you you're leveling up it's just been a matter of divine timing again for some of you you're like this is taking too long and your guys are like yes just be a little bit more patient and i know i know i don't like that word either but your guys are saying we need to be patient let's see what else do we have here for those who are watching this video silence silent retreat i feel like for some of you you need to connect within you need to connect to your guides you need to connect with your wisdom in order for you to be able to process because only there you will find the peace that you're looking for. Also through music. I feel like messages are coming through music. You might have just dyed your hair blonde too. And we have... What does that say? Look up. I thought it said level up. Yeah, your guys are saying, look. Look up. You need to trust. We're having a hard time trusting. Your guys are like, look, behind this curtain is the star. It's your wishes. It's your, that which you have been desiring. But we need to trust. You're having a hard time trusting. Trusting your path. Trusting your choices. Trusting the decisions that you've made. But your guides are saying the reason why it's taking a while is because we need to clear it up. There might be some throat chakra blockage there as well. Ooh, there's good things coming in. Three of cups. There's reunion. There's celebration. There's community here. Um, wow, another three. Three of chalices, three of pentacles. Again, there's a project coming together for some of you. For some of you, you're networking. You're working with others. There's new friendships coming in. There's recognition in regards to your skill. There is positive change with the Huron here. And he is, he does have a fish in his or her mouth. So this lets me know you're catching something. Okay. 
Okay, we have the lovers here. So again, decisions. You're waiting for something. You're waiting for something in order to make a decision. The Knight of Wands, the travel is involved here as well. This could be a situation with a faraway lover, someone at a distance as well. Here, three, three, three. Oh, that is crazy. So we have three, three, three. Whatever it is that you've been waiting for, it's coming in really fast. We just need to balance out this your heart and your mind because i feel like your heart believes but your mind is doubting so many things i'm trying to like get all these cards in like order hold up it's like you're having trouble here getting on the same page but your guides are saying it's coming in let's pull here again if you're waiting for that far away lover that's coming in too i'm seeing that as well there's fast forward movement happening. Well, sorry, it's a card that fell. Okay. For some of you, you're going from, it was the King of Wands. For some of you, you're going from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. So there's a big level up, a lot of growth here. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, again, taking the middle path. Not going to extremes, not getting caught up in the highs and the lows of things. But also this is your spirit guides. And there he is again. The king of wands. And the high priestess. And the two of wands. At the bottom of the deck we do have the ace of pentacles. There is money coming in. You're moving in a new direction. Yeah, something that you've been wanting to do. It's like you've been trying to birth something here. And this is the eight of, Ace of Cups, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. For some of you, this is a baby. Okay, I do have to say that. But again, you're attracting. You're attracting so many opportunities to you. But I feel like it's like you can't see them yet. And all you see is like the needing to be patient, the needing to wait, the needing to do things in moderation. Because I feel like you've been healing a lot of things here too. Temperance is all about healing. Yeah, because you're learning to step into your sovereignty. It's like you're learning to navigate through life with ease. That is that temperance energy there. You need to learn to temper your fire here and to follow your intuition. For some of you, again, it's like you're making a choice. You're like, what do I do? You have to go within to make that decision. For some of you, been cutting cords. Um, the big thing here that I'm hold that I'm like, you're holding on to, yeah, that you're having a hard time letting go of, or processing, or digesting, is the fact that you feel like you've made many mistakes. You feel like you've um. You're like, well, how would I know what is the best choice if I made so many bad choices, JJ? And your guides are saying that's what you're letting go of. Let it go. Because everything that you've done to this point is leading you to where your guides are taking you. It's leading you to the fact that, you know, through that wisdom, through those challenges, through your path, or because of your path, is what is taking you here to this three of pentacles, maybe guiding others. It's like you have it, you're having to let go of the past. You're having a hard time letting that go. Stop telling yourself that it's your fault. I don't know. That's for someone out there. I don't know. It's like you're being too harsh. But see, without the choices that you that you made in the past, without the decisions that you perceive as bad, you wouldn't have the wisdom that you do today. So don't... Don't be so hard on yourself is what I want to say. Because beautiful things are coming in. But the reason why it's taking a while is because you still need to embrace that. And you still need to heal that. Because deep within you, you feel like you're not good enough. Or you feel like you've made really bad mistakes. Or like, you know, you don't trust yourself. 
Well, mm -mm. I feel like you're branching out, like the cards were fanning out. <laughs> Just because we made mistakes doesn't mean you don't deserve a second chance at something, right? At the bottom of the deck, you do have the journey. Yeah, you're at the verge of a new life chapter. And it is nostalgic. It is bittersweet. You know, because of your growth. And you're seeing the person that you used to be. And the person that you are now. But you shouldn't look back on your journey with shame. If anything, you should look back on your journey with the sense of understanding, compassion, and also, you know, pride for being where you are currently now. Let's see. The well, yeah. There was a lot of inner child healing that you've been doing, that you've been processing, that you've been digesting. And these have been intense emotions. Like I said, you're getting lost in the sauce. You're getting lost in the cycles and the ups and downs of your emotions, of your memories. You've been doing the shadow work. And yeah, did it leave you in a place of vulnerability? Probably. Absolutely it did. And I feel like this is where you're having trouble trusting. Trusting yourself. Maybe you don't feel understood in some way. And then we have Earth Angel. For some of you, you might resonate with that. You might feel like an Earth Angel. I feel like also Spirit has been sending you a lot of people around you to give you that reassurance. You know, to give you that, that message like you're on the right track. You're doing okay. Be kind to yourself. But things are coming in. Yeah, time to rebuild, time to reconstruct, to go through this period of, of building something new for yourself. And not from a place of, I'm surprised judgment didn't come out. Not from a place of guilt, but from a place of understanding and sovereignty. And I'm going to pull one card from here. And I'm going to wrap it up, you guys. We have the healing. Healing the heart, yeah. So if you feel like a lot of emotions have been coming up for you, know that it's because it was taking up space in your heart. It was taking up space and we need to clear it up. Think of a closet, right? If you have a closet full of a lot of clothes, and I know you can buy <laughs> other box storage boxes where you can put clothes there, but we got to clear it up. Either way, we got to clear up that closet to make space. And that is exactly what is going on right now in your life. Yeah, because you're discovering the royal you, who you are, what is your magic, what makes you you, and part of what makes you you is your past mistakes as you perceive them to be. They're not mistakes. They're lessons. But that is what I have for you. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that it helps somebody out there. And be kind to yourself. Bye, you guys.